support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to Cody for being a $10 supporter. Hey Cody, welcome back. And hello viewers, welcome back to... Tell me why. It's time to continue. Uh, yeah, didn't at all have an awkward uh, setup at all. Everything went perfectly smooth, nothing broke. The game definitely didn't download, and I had to download it on stream, which killed the, inter uh, the internet connection. I finished stream. None of that happened. It went flawless. It went amazing. And now we're finally here, ready to play the game. So let's continue. And my face will remain awkwardly here because the app for Streamlabs doesn't work. So Once I can't upon a time, in a change the screen. Forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Let me know if the game is too quiet or too loud. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. It was Discord. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. Just this god. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. I think you're looking for things that. You're looking for more than what happened. Oh boy. We're back here. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. That lasagna. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to Give wear your bite. hat. <laughs> yeah. I want lasagna. All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Jack, do not defend Gavin. Stop. Stop, stop it. You stop right now. Stop. I said stop it. He's filming it now. And as the final scoop of I need to get a shot of notification, but thank you, Gig. Thank you so much. Gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. It's okay, dude. Have she a good day at work. She could go forward and find and a new you. place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my dogs. <sighs> Cody, please never say that again. We're gonna see how she got involved in that situation, I'm guessing. We've seen how uh, Tyler got into that problem. Now it's time to see how Allison got into that problem. Oh, she was looking for my ice cream. Greedy. What a waste. Oh, I actually left it out and it went. Okay, so she decided to drink the ice cream. Is that something that Allison! people really do? Ollie! Allison, help! Like, I've never been an ice cream guy. I've always found ice cream kind of disgusting.
Yeah, exactly. Well, it was it was a shed. Yeah, I hate ice cream. I can't stand it. <laughs> oh god. game is dark, but I like it. I really like this. It's good. You need to call for help. Allison. I killed Mom. I killed her. Something about don't nod no, and their choice of music that like really uh, gets the job done. Like they pick some really good soundtracks. Cause I actually really like this song. This is a nice song. Weird opening now. It's nicely edited as well, I will say. <laughs> Imagine the mother just with the shotgun, just running in slow motion, just runs behind him like, "Yeah, I'm in this too." <laughs> That'd be weird. Really funny now. You know, for a fact, someone's gonna mod it. <laughs> the mother's running with the shotgun. Okay, no, we're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Well, good luck. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this.
Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff in the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks. Oh, wow, that was an achievement. Nice. I was about to say, I forgot to get achievements up for this episode, so I need to alt-tab and open that up. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Dumping cake. Interesting name. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Maybe someone could clean it up? It's well made. Your call. Keeping it. I see, so we're marking Thanks things we want to keep and cabinets. things we don't want to keep. Not my pleasure. Got ya. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh, Maybe. I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh, yeah. If there is, I will definitely shit myself. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. What to do with this? Uh. Hmm. Kind of big. Like, if you got room, then yeah. Uh. Uh. This has been sitting in a damp house for 10 years. No one wants to eat off it. Oh, look at that. What's this doing? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Oh, got memory. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. Oh, don't worry about hey, it. Cody. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, I was gonna say, like, about though. the table. It's like, it depends on where you she move to. Corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. Uh. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. I 
at the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Oh, Just okay. so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Yeah, it's to, um... Okay, so you know how when you're trans, you know, when, you, when you're a trans man, it's because you're a woman. So you've still got boobs. So, it, you know, you don't want to have boobs when you're transitioning, you know, because it's not, it's female, it's not male. So what they do is they wear something uh, and it flattens their chest out to make it look flat. Um, I'm not fully sure how it works. I think it's just like a, like, like a, like a top, like a linen kind of flat thing that just like squeezes the squeezes it in to make it look like a reverse bra kind of like when the out bits go in and then the in bits would go out but they don't quite do that <laughs> it, it's more like um a flat bra like a the flattest of flat uh of bras you can get Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile, like Allison. Oh, there we go, and there's the answer. I imagine there's a memory somewhere. Come on, honey, smile, like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <gasps> my sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on <laughs> it because you wanted a yeah, pet so chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. gonna jump up and do the cha-cha what about me i want to clean the fish too it's not even your fish you didn't catch anything Ugh. only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away keep your eyes on what you're doing heads eh right you little shits when we're done with this house you can take over and do the other one that sound fair yes that's kids for you like they're still learning you're right i was kind of being a brat yeah. I guess that's not the call. Uh, food to kind of, when you go to clean the turn the moon boxes on the bottom shelf. I mean that looks like the tub in the in the picture. But I guess I can't uh, interact with it yet. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Ah, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. <laughs> Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -mm. So good. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Uh. 
probably sell that. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? What's that smell? Got something. Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a Hitch to toady. I don't understand them any more than you do. Of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Now let's see if there's anything I've got to do. Yes. And what do you know? More stuff. You probably sell that. Baloney. <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney. Pally Belly Baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you again for the third time today. I got we should gather up that. all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good idea. Except for maybe one or two. <laughs> Softy. What's soft? What light through yonder? Oh, wait. It's just you. Clever. Clever. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. I could use that ball. <laughs> you can throw it at him instead. Okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I win. Pay up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, and I will never know what's on the letter now. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to go down and see if I can pick up the ball. <laughs> hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Oh, where's the ball? Can I pick it up? Or does it just despawn? No, it's there, but I can't pick it up. That is what we call a shame. We'll never know what's on that now. We'll never know. And it's all my fault because his head was too tempting to whack. <laughs> I'm a bad person. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's going to be so mad you had to go to the hospital. Shit, yeah, it did. Fuck, my career is ruined. Everything oh. okay yeah. When's mom coming? She'll home? be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. God. He scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but the part after that with Marianne, that was less fun. I remember the look that Tessa gave her when she finally came home. If looks could kill, right? Yeah. And Marianne was a mess. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Congratulations, you found the map. This will lead you with no mishap. Uh, follow my trail of twinkling stones and 
For a chance, you'll escape the unknown. Hmm. So long, trusty bunk beds. Dear, oh, dear Allison, thank you for the invitation. I think nobody was in sight at 4.15 because I need to feed the birds. Okay. Others may not understand the laughs we have had together and we share each other, but I know what happens every goblin. When... But it's kind of like in Life is Strange 2, like how uh, these two consider themselves like goblins, and then the two the brothers in Life is Strange 2 uh, compared each other to a wolf pack. You know, the older wolf and the little wolf. So it's got that kind of uh, symbolism going on. Okay, maybe I can finally do some so, stuff. So, you gonna come back down to help me, or what? There we go. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. The lighting is so good. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh, if there's testing. anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? I don't think you so. You may not even have a living room. I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Are you and finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. <sighs> yes, you are. <laughs> Having fun, are we? This is getting utterly ridiculous. Ah! Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. <laughs> All right, I guess that is pretty. There we go. <laughs> Got the achievement. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, what's the next achievement? Guess who? Figure out how inspired each of the goblin characters that had to the kitchen table and figure this out. Okay, and then the answers are provided. Okay. Hey, clean freak. You want coffee? Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Coffee, huh? hey. Earl Grey or Chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Okay, okay, thank you. There we go. You can kind of tell this game is designed for a controller. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair. 
and never leave. Oh, yeah, y you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. I think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Oh, what? Well, we'll do that, I guess. <laughs> hey, Allison. Let's look at our drawings. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Dreaming. Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Okay, well, the thing is, I don't need to use this, even though it makes way more sense to use this. Uh, because uh, I have a guide uh, for the achievements. So, the pelican is Tessa, and the moose is Eddie, and the bear is Sam. So, uh, what am I doing here? Well, I've got a D before I can do something. There we go. Who do you think the one person I live with? Okay. Fuck. Which one's Eddie and which one is Sam? Uh oh. Uh. Okay. The pelican. Pelican. She was the most generous one. You go here. Right. Pelican should go on the left. Mm, this one. Then bear goes on the right. So it's pelican, moose, bear. And that's it. Alright. I think I'm done. You sure? The bear is in fact Sam. Definitely. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. You better hurry, or the yeah, mad it hunter is him. will catch us! The we mad need to hunter. hide! This way! <gasps> what's... what's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I don't know. I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then... 
Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? That's fucking creepy. <laughs> Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. I didn't know the germs between all those words. I, you know, never been much of a reader, huh? But... I think I get why what I said was wrong, and... I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget... For the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. He seems like a good guy. Apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. What's the Tyler? Don't be a bitch. <laughs> He's a good guy. Just let it go. Accidents happen. All right. Fucking fly. So, Next achievement doesn't happen for um, a while. That was. School. Uh, I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that door key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so uh Nope. We're good. Thank you. Fair warning. So bad to a bit tempered now. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little No oh, shit. Well. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's Again, easy to really? fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. 
I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Totally. Okay. Uh. So we're gonna need heating. Uh, Let's take a look. A okay, dryer, water heater. Whole jam needs to be replaced. Kitchen. Nah, needs We've only got three of them. Though. You could refinish the whole thing, but <laughs> that's a lot of work for an old door. And the guy doesn't. And the guy does any for achievements. I wrapped up. I got a run case. You have a 15 amp in a garage. Amps for 120. Pick up not to have a look at the case. There's 15 amps for the garage. Do 120 for the whole amp. Yeah, sure. So for the garage, I need to put 15. Shit. Oh. So the garage is number six. What you okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, which is already in there. Just yeah. a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? Uh, High school. Best damn fullback around. Okay, so if it's got to go to 160. Well, I got hurt. Yeah, that's right. How do I make it? Let's try this one. Okay, so I say I've got infinite money, so I need to count, I need to do the math. Okay, so 30, 50, 70. Damn it. Salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey, sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. Be careful you don't put Good a low go. amp in a high amp plug. <laughs> That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Uh, did you read the note next to the box? I guess I fucked up. Uh... Yeah, let's read this more carefully. I got a room in case... Be careful. You have to use 15 amps for the garage. Amps total up to 120 for the whole. Okay. For the whole house. But up to 120 for the whole house. So don't go over 120. Uh. Okay. So 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then that one's too big for down there. Hey, uh. You two got any, uh. Air insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh not always. Uh, so you can't fend 30, off the bear 60. smart ass remarks, you know. We're not getting a gun. Come on, it. So if it's got to be 120, then we just need to put 30s in all of the top ones. Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. <laughs> uh, he says women, but I think that was me. All right, so that one's definitely got to be a 15. All right, so that one popped. Maybe there's so much power up here. Ugh, there's mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. I could take a damn look. Mildew is always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? <laughs> hey now, watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? right. And borax? Mm -hmm. Okay, so four is probably light, so lights probably don't need all that much power. Out the barn much as I can. And oil in the spring. But maybe that's too much now. Hell no. That stuff's a hatchery for mold. Teak is what you want. Outlets would probably need quite a bit of power in the kitchen. Would probably need a decent amount of power. That should be fine. Damn it. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful, you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. Oh, and that's what he said. To Just do the math, Alice. Okay, so I need to put a high one there. Okay, and that's I've completely misheard him. Hey, don't get frustrated. Try again. Maybe one of these is wrong. That one's definitely right. 
One of these is wrong. See any white cable? It's paired with a 15 amp. Hey, what did I say? She's doing this on her own, man. <sighs> Look, I'm all for a strong, independent lady, but uh, we don't want anyone hurting themselves, right? Thanks, but I'm no lady. In my defense, it doesn't say anywhere here about a white cable. Yeah, do you see any yellow cable? It's paired with a 20 amp. Yeah, I got that right. And the red is with that. So yellow, yellow, white. And that all looks fine. Yeah, do you see any yellow cable? It's paired with a 20 amp. Oh, maybe that one there. Okay. No, I see what I did wrong. Mm, seems good. I'm fucking stupid. I, w I would definitely cause a fire if I had to power up a house. First try, totally. It didn't take me like three minutes. Oh, I got the shotgun. Damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh... You two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Tyler's really thick, isn't he? What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. <laughs> Toilet Cody. paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Hey there, little buddy. Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. I like spiders. I think one of the cats is in heat because oh, I can hear in a cat the like we can. Toolbox ever. Yes. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew! What? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Thing is... Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. No problem, Cody. I'll see you later. Over, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Her and Eddie. Uh oh. Where are you going? 
Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison! I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Get out. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. Alright. Zay Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. I made the wrong choice, but I But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Had to make a choice.